Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Undertale. When we last left off, Snow Dog. Ah, puzzle! I just did this. Hmm. All right. It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word Sands written on it in red marker. I take it that that was their attempts at making snow skeletons. Wee, 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 wee. I like this game. I really like this game. This is a very fun game. Also, I just tried to record this, but I apparently missed something, so we gonna try again. Uh, let's go down. Hello, Sans. What's up? Not much. What? Say, are you following me? Jif Tot, conf Jif Trot confronts you. Some teens decorated it as a prank. Ho ho ho! Go ahead and laugh. I could undecorate you. Damn it! I got presented. Ah, the scent of fresh pine needles. Undecorate. You remove a small, confused dog. That's a little better. Ah, snow! Er, ah, God! You remove the lenticular bookmark of a slug teen, smug teen wicking, winking. It's a little better. Damn it! How do I avoid this? Butts pie? Oh, that's the butterscotch. You remove the striped cane that says, I use this tiny cane to walk on it. A weight has been lifted. Jif Trot's problems have been taken away. You won. You earned 20 gold. What's this? I've got another thing to do before I do that. Namely, looking at snow puffs. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah, it's a snow puff. If you look at all of these, the last one you look at will give you gold. Woof. What a tiny doghouse. Sorry. If you want to read these, just pause. And now I eat the butterscotch pie. Yay! Now then. This is adorable. Puppy! But, it becomes less adorable in a second, because it's a dog in a suit of armor that's twice as tall as I am. It's the greater dog. Ah! I'm gonna try to get this done. Because this boss, this boss, mini boss, I don't know what it is. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater Dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now Dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Bark, bark. Bark, bark. I should mention, I love dogs. And cats. And all other animals. <laughs> ah. I still need to pet the puppy so that I can win. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Great dog is contented. I got a gold. And then this is freaking cute as hell. Licks my face. And then it jumps back into suit of armor. It's a butt! It's a button suit of armor. This game is adorable. Let's call Toriel. Or see if we can. No. Damn it. Toriel, talk to us. I want to tell you how my adventure's going. I forgot to change this to 60 FPS, because I can do that in XSplit now. But whatever. Next episode will probably be in 60 FPS, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if it even matters, because this game doesn't look like it runs at 60 FPS. Hi. I don't want to deal with you at the moment. Later. Let's go into this cave. Whoa. This is some... Whoa, dude. It's a door. Yes, indeed. Can I go in it? It's 
the door. Yes, I guess I can't go that way. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back here. Later. I'm sure we'll come by this way. Considering this is a nerfbound style, let's let's play? Yes, sort of. Or it's an earthbound style, let's play. Austin used PK humor. It's not effective at all. I've never played Earthbound. <laughs> I played Earthbound for like ten minutes uh, on the Wii U. Oh great, a wooden bridge. I hate wooden bridges. They always freak me out. Papyrus! Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror! What? When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each pot will swing violently up and down. Only a tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Okay. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. That uh doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge it seems, maybe, too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I have a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Heh. Heh. Interesting. What just happened, Sans? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. I do understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden. I thought I was already here. Shop. Hmm. Alright, let's go into the shop before we check... Uh, yeah. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? You're a bunny. Hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Uh, where did you come from? The capital? Y you don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Uh, Groby's is food, and the library is information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and uh, asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history. Uh, think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp at Snowden. Uh, oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A uh, little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles, day after day. That's life, ain't it? If you heard that snap, that was my, that was my elbow. Huh? Sell something. Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. This game... is smart. What do you got? You got the tough glove, which I already have, I think. Manly bandana, it has abs on it. Buy cy cycle. I'll take that. I'll actually take two of those. And cinnamon bun. Well... Bye, Bunny, whose name I don't know. Bye now, come again sometime. Let's go check out the inn. Huh. Mom says the sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Sure, here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. <laughs> Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. I can't go up there by myself. Okay. So what's my HP? I now have 30 HP. Dude. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. 
All right. Interesting. Igloo. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Hello. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee hee. You are a bun bun. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Christmas! It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Hello. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. Oh, hey! It's Doggo and the greater dog. And these two. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. <laughs> you better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, Attach a leash to me, leash to me and take me for a walk, please. <laughs> I like that. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. Hello? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Hello. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys! <laughs> you and me both, sister. You and me both. The jukebox is broken. The jukebox. Can I hit it? The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're getting... They're going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of a local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their butt, slip onto their butts. Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. <laughs> yeah, all right. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally gonna make out with a fish. <laughs> Wait, are you the guy that had the fishing rod with the picture? Oh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Can I order something? No? All right, later. Hi! Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Aww. Hello, demon child. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Hmm. Let's play monsters and humans. I... Hello, butterfly. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Oh, I see. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Wait a minute. Slimes! Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Are you gonna come to the door, bruh? Okay. Later. Later. Hello. Can I talk? To okay. Later. Hmm. That was weird. Libra. Libra bar. Librarby. Librarby. <laughs> Librarby. <laughs> Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you?
I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. <coughs> okay. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick with writing this. Sick of writing this, rather. When monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. She started talking. I didn't notice that. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and, search and searing heat, I almost said searching heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Well, that's depressing. I'm out. Later, brah. Mailbox? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure. It's empty. Aww. Can I write Papyrus a letter? That'd be cool. Hehe. <laughs> cool. Anyway. I don't know. I'm guessing that there was probably an underground tunnel on the other side of the thing. But I'm gonna walk over and save. Um, let's see how long I've been playing. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it there. This is get These episodes are getting shorter and shorter. Uh, uh. Well, that's it for now. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play. I certainly am, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.